Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. Today I'm we'll going to be talking about another Google service, Gmail, and how to find emails in Gmail that are lost. And here's the situation. You have your Gmail account, somebody said that they sent you something, or perhaps you've been working on an email, and you stepped away from the computer, and you came back, and you can't find it, or you know somebody sent something to you and you can't find it, and here's what you can do. So first, of course, check the inbox to see if the email is there. Um, if you are working on an email, that is drafting an email and you don't see it or uh, you can't remember what happened to it, first place to check is just sent. Click on the left here and this will load up the, full, the emails that you've sent over the past days, weeks, months. It's arranged in reverse chronological order, meaning newest at the top, oldest way down here. And you can just scroll through them and see if you've actually sent it. If not, the next place to look is in drafts. Drafts are emails that you've started but you haven't finished and Gmail automatically saves emails as you're working on them. And then even if you turn off your browser or the computer gets shut off or you step away, it'll still be saved in draft form. And you can, you can, you can click it open and then continue to draft it. Now, let's say that somebody says that they sent you something and you don't see it in your inbox. So. First of all, it's possible that the person sent it, but it ended up in spam. This happens frequently with other email services, but even Gmail sometimes gets some false positives. So here is all the spam that I've been receiving. And actually just uh, scrolling through it, I can see some of it's not spam, uh, but it ended up in spam perhaps because uh, Google's spam filters detected some words that look like spam. So um, GitHub, that's not spam. So I could open that up and read it, or I could just mark it as not spam. And when you mark it, an email in spam as not spam, what happens is it'll be moved to the inbox. Okay, you can click out of that. So you can scroll through and see if your friend's email ended up in spam. It happens sometimes, especially if attachments are involved. If it's not there, the next place to check is your trash folder. And Gmail, unfortunately, kind of hides the trash folder. You have to scroll down and look through your folders, see if it's there. If you don't see it, click more at the very bottom of the list and then continue to scroll. Oh, and there it is, the trash folder. Okay, so some email may end up in trash because you've trashed it. Sometimes though, email ends up in trash because you've set up a filter and a word inside the filter or an email address inside the filter triggered it to be just sent straight to trash. Okay. You can review your email here, see if it's located in trash. If it is located in trash, you can click on it. And then you can um, move it back to your inbox by clicking move to and selecting the inbox. Finally, one other place to look for your uh, emails is to use the search function. And the great thing about searching the search function is, uh, let's say that you're looking for some message from PayPal is that it will search through all of the folders you have, okay? Some of this will be in inbox, some of this will be in trash, some of this will be archived. It will all show up here and then you can review it. Now, if you've searched through the, if you've done all the steps I've just said and you still can't find it in Gmail, it's possible there was some technical problem uh, in between the sender and you. You can ask the sender to send it again to another email address that you have or to your current Gmail address if that's the only, G if that's the only email address you have. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can ask the sender to use a, their uh, separate email account to try to send the, uh, the email to you and see if it shows up there. Usually by troubleshooting and by searching and by looking in the folders I've just suggested, you'll find the email you're looking for or you can get the email to come across. It's not guaranteed. Sometimes there's some edge cases or some uh, unusual scenarios, or some technical problem, legitimate technical problem that prevents the email from getting through. Um, I'm sorry if I can't help you resolve that problem, uh, but if you use Google, sometimes you can figure out the solution or you can find out some alternate alternative message for passing the message along, whether it's picking up the phone, uh, using instant, uh, some sort of a text messaging service or some other sort of social network to, uh, to, to send the message or send the attachment, or using a service like Dropbox. For more information on how to get the most out of your online services, check out our guides 
on Google Drive and Docs, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and many more available at in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching.